In this video, we will solve a numerical problem on ISLM model. The question is, what will be the equilibrium income when goods market, which is IS, and money market, uh, which is LM, are in equilibrium in the case of the consumption is equal to 102 plus 0.7 Y, C denotes the consumption, Y is the income, investment is a function of interest, that is I is equal to 150 minus 100 I, Money supply is being given us exogenously, that is 472. Transaction and demand for money is 0 0.7, sorry, 0 0.25 times income. And speculative demand for money, which is the negative function of the interest rate, is being given us as 124 minus 200i. The options are 400, 1300, 1900, or 1000. We need to find out the equilibrium level of income. Okay. So, what we are being given or let's write it in this fashion for goods market okay first we take goods market for goods market that is we need to find out the is function first for goods market we know that total income is equal to consumption plus investment total income can be written in this fashion that is our consumption function is being given us is 102 plus 0 0.7 y plus investment function is also being given us is 150 150 uh, minus 100 i when solving this so what will we get if we transpose all the terms here so 0 0.7 y or uh, if we write it in this fashion that is transposing this here y minus 0 0.7 y is equal to 102 plus 150 it comes out to be uh, you know 252 so we have 252 minus 100 i so this comes out to be 0 0.3 y transposing again here we will get plus 100 i minus 250 sorry 252 is equal to 0 this is our i's function symmetrically we need to find out the lm function now so for money market equilibrium or for for money market for money market that is the LM go money market is in equilibrium when money supply is equal to the money demand okay money supply is being given us or if we rewrite it so money supply should be equal to now money demand has two components that is transactionary demand for money plus the speculative demand for money okay now money supply is being given us as which is exogenous here which is 470 should be equal to transactionary demand for money is 0 0.25 y Plus the speculative demand for money is being given us as 124 minus 200i. Okay, so solving again. Uh, this function can be written in this fashion. That is uh, 0.25y minus 200i. Okay, if I if I transpose it here, it will get subtracted. So it will become uh, 124 minus 470. It comes out to be minus 346. And it is equal to 0. Okay, simple thing. I have solved these very two functions here. Now this is our equation first and let me write it here. This is equation first. This is equation second. Okay, so let's rewrite them here. We what we have 0.3y 
plus 100i is equal sorry uh, minus 252 is equal to 0 and another LM equation is as that is 0.25y minus 200i minus 346 is equal to 0 okay so we have equation in two variables how do we solve let us see if we can make either the coefficient of y or i same in both the equations let us say it is uh, for that what will we do we can make this 100 200 by multiplying whole equation by 2 okay so if i multiply this equation by 2 and let me write it here if i multiply this equation by 2 on both sides okay there will be uh, no change okay S uh, simple we are uh, multiplying lhs by 2 rhs by 2 2 and 2 will get cancelled and we will be left with the given equation again okay so if i multiply it with this so we have 2 into 0.3 it will become 0 0.6 y minus it will become 2 into 100 is 200 i minus so here 2 to the 4 2 5 are 10 2 to the 4 5 is equal to 2 into 0 is 0 okay so let us say this is equation let us say this is equation a this is equation b okay now we add up these two equations if i add them did i made any mistake here yes obviously so it is here plus now if i add them you can see here these two 0.25y and 0.6y will add up to zero or let me write it here in this fashion when we add them adding the like terms it will become 0.85y so we have minus 200i plus 200i they will get cancelled so we will be left with this uh, minus 346 is minus 504 it will come out to be 850 should be equal to zero now we need to solve it for y that means 0 0.85 y is equal to 850 which gives us 0 0.85 can be written as 85 upon 100 y is equal to 850 which gives us y is equal to 850 transposing it will get multiplied and reciprocated okay so 85 ones are 85 zeros are so equilibrium level of income will be 100 into 10 which comes out to be 1000 okay so why did we equate these two equations simple this is our is equation this is our lm equation and the question tells us that uh, what will be the equilibrium income when money market and sorry when goods market and money market market are in equilibrium okay so this denotes our goods market this is our money market okay that means at equilibrium at equilibrium money market should be equal to good goods market money market function is being denoted by lm should be equal to is okay we have just equated these two equations to get the equilibrium level of income okay so graphically what exactly does this does this mean so this is our level of income or rate of interest there is negative relationship between rate of interest and level of income in case of is curve then we have the money market there is positive relationship between level of income and rate of interest when we add them up okay these two our equilibrium will be the intersection of lm curve and is curve and is curve and corresponding to this uh, we have the equilibrium level of 1000 simultaneous equilibrium this 
is exactly what we are being told okay so this equation actually if we uh, rewrite it and if i can rewrite this function here again this function so it will become 0.3 y is equal to minus 100 i plus 252 so this denotes the is function why there is negative relationship between y and i because the uh, sign of i is negative okay that is being shown by the negative slope of is curve and if i rewrite this lm equation so we have 0 0.25 y okay if i transpose it here it will become plus 200 i plus 346 okay and here you can see that there is positive relation positive relationship between level of income and rate of interest rate that's why we get the upward sloping lm curve okay simultaneous equilibrium requires when is is equal to e lm so the intersection point will give us the equilibrium level of income i hope i make myself clear in this video thank you